let's explain to people the value that this brings to corporations if they were to adopt it and integrate it into their system. Yeah, I mean, it's really cool in the sense that you could, it was so efficient that you could actually stream payments real time. So every second that goes by, you know, you can do 10 payments. So there were things where people would be watching videos and as they were watching videos, people would be streaming micro payments to them. And then it was really cool because the person sending the money could be on the XRP ledger and the person receiving the money could be on the Bitcoin network. So it was really just a way for money to just flow pretty seamlessly over the internet. Ripple says that a lot, like that their goal is to make value flow as seamlessly as information flows over the internet today. And so Interledger was a very literal representation of that. So they, they did a pilot with like Coil. So you could basically be on, on a website, and for however much time you were on the website, you'd be streaming a payment for receiving that information. Is that kind of... Yeah, that was one of the use cases. They were one of the biggest users of the network, yeah. Do, do you think that like a Netflix or somebody that bids media in that same capacity, like the mm -hmm. streaming network, will adopt that technology? Or do you think it'll stay like subscription-based? I think it'll probably stay subscription-based because I think people like... So that's what Coil did. They just sold a subscription. You pay us five bucks a month and we'll take care of these streams for you. So it was nice for creators so that the more people consume their content, the more money that they could make. But from the user perspective, you don't have to stress about continuing to watch a video. You know, you don't have to feel like you're paying for every second because you just pay your monthly rate and this other company takes care of the payments for you. So it's cool in terms of compensating people properly, but also not causing overhead for end users who are watching the content. So is there kind of like an arbitrage there for an instance? Like they can pay yeah. creators or people that wanted to list stuff 